Welcome back friends. It has been a few days since the last video and we had a lot going on. I didn't get much logging done really. I got stuff moved together a little bit. That was about it. Um, you can see I've got our road closure sign over here because I actually had to shut down logging operations for a few days, but it's a good thing. So let's head over to the site here and I will show off what happened. So, as you see already here, we've got a building. So, I got to talking to Bob at the store about the, um, the wood shop, and he did know a guy, and we got some really cheap wood for it, which is kind of sad seeing as, you know, I'm logging and selling everything to the lumber mill. But, uh, you know, lumber isn't cheap, so we, we, we didn't get some very expensive stuff. And, uh, we've got a lumber mill now. So, we're going to be kind of splitting between what we sell and what we, you know, put in and mill down ourselves. Um, you can see I've got a trailer load ready to go. It, it was pretty quick. I asked about it. They ended up cutting out surveying the site and they immediately started putting in for permits. And as soon as they had put in for the permits, I had to shut down the logging. So the construction guys worked with me and made sure to prioritize putting up my workshop simply because if I was shut down, they were a little bit worried that I would run out of money and not be able to pay them. So, it worked out for me. We've got our lumber mill here. Now, let's get our sign set back up here before a little bit more here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, we'll drop it right here, undo our hitch. All right. So, I've been working on milling some boards out and starting to build a little bit of furniture. But we definitely need to get back to logging here. Um, I've got a lot of trees still laying on the ground. And we've got one full trailer load. So, let's get the bobcat out of the way. I figured that... Since I don't have any buildings to store anything in, I would at least stick the bobcat right in front of the trailer to make sure that nobody could drive away with it too easily. Alright, let's get this all hooked up. And let's get this load to the mill. Because we did definitely hurt our funds a bit. On the bright side, while all that was going on, and I did help the construction guys a little bit. Not too much, because I was starting to get in the way a little bit. But, uh, in between, I was able to start talking to a banker when they didn't need any of my help. And it turns out that between the workshop and the equipment, we should be able to get a small loan. So, pretty soon, we should be able to start moving on expanding our logging operation here. And hopefully, oh, you don't know, we're going to use our little cut through. That's what we're going to do. And uh, hopefully, we should be able to uh, pick up the pace soon. I think we're going to need to sell off a few more loads, and I'll have to uh, snag a bit more wood for our own operation there that we've got going now. But as long as I keep supplying the mill here, they shouldn't be, you know, too upset at me. So, let me go talk to these guys, sell off this load, and we'll head back to 
Well, we'll head back to our land and start working on the next one. Wow, they've got the doors open even though it's freezing now. That's crazy. All right, we got that batch sold off. It was kind of a smaller trailer full, so we didn't get as much as I've been getting. But I mean, it had just kind of filled up all of the wood we were at. Train coming. All right, so let's get back to our land and get this trailer all filled up again. All right, we're back, and I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit of time lapse here, but my plan so far is I'm going to try and kind of lop off these smaller tops, and we'll keep those for our own stuff because, I mean, I'm mostly making furniture and making some small... smaller boards here and there, so I don't mind having some of the smaller stuff. Anything I can't use will just grind down and I'll end up selling off some wood chips or something at some point. So I'll try and send mainly the bigger stuff since that's what will get me a better price from that, that lumber mill anyways. And uh, we'll keep them a little bit happier since I'm not going to be really encroaching on what they do. So, without further delay, let's get to it.
All right, we've got another trailer load here ready to go. So let's get this one sold off and I mean, after this, I might have to do some uh, shopping. We certainly need to see about getting something bigger to, to load with. I don't know, it's either that or a processor, probably. The semi would definitely be nice, but there's no way we're going to afford that with this money for a semi and a trailer. Unless I really luck out and can find one used, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what you think. What should be the uh, the next step in our adventure, huh? Should we be looking into... Uh, looking into loading equipment, looking into trucking equipment, or looking into getting a new processor? Or getting a processor, because we don't have one right now. I would say, you know, a wood chipper, but since we're right next to the mill, that's really not an issue, because I can just dump everything into the mill and chip it right there, because I do have the equipment to basically grind it up in the mill. Not the easiest thing to do, but it works. Well, let me go ahead and sell this stuff off. All right, we're back, and that load actually did a lot less than I expected it to. It weighed out and only gave us a little over 6,000. I was hoping that'd be closer to eight like most of them were. I don't know, maybe we're also just kind of uh, selling too much right here and not getting the best price anymore. We've definitely been making sure that, that lumber mill has some work to do. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see here. It's definitely getting real cold out still and being real cold out. I'm, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes in the truck here to warm up and uh, I'll give Bob a call, see what, what kind of stuff he has as far as equipment goes. Oh, I don't want to shut that off. We want to stay warm. Let's keep the, the engine running here. All right. Well, I just got off the phone with Bob. He's really not too sure on what he can get me cheap. He said he could get some older wheel loaders. They're going to be around 40000 but he really doesn't recommend them for, for logging for what we're doing because they just don't have enough weight behind them. He said we're probably looking more at like one. 50 or more and at that point maybe I should just get an excavator and start using that to to harvest and load so I don't know I mean this this trailer really isn't worth trying to use an excavator it's it's not big enough so it seems like maybe we'll end up wanting to to upgrade our trailer and truck set up first but that's gonna be real expensive too we're probably looking at least at 100 grand there and really to stay compliant we're gonna have to get a uh, a scale which I'd rather not put one in up here I'd rather do that once we have our, our another our next property that we're really gonna use as is our logging area this really is gonna just get turned into a homestead I don't want to use this just for logging so I don't know maybe lands the next best bet you guys tell me what you think you leave a comment for me let me know if you think we should go into log well not go into logging we're in logging go into uh, better loading equipment go into truck and trailer go into property or go into a processor next and uh, even though the snow melted, it's still really cold out here. So I think I'm going to go work in a shop for a bit and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a great day. Happy gaming.